incredible vision already a trillion times sharper than that of any ordinary being. Yo, what up everybody? Gully Boy back at you with a new video series. And in this video series, we're gonna be taking a look at some of the most terrible, horrible, downright awful rap album covers. So with no further ado, let's get into this. Do not ring the bell. There is nobody home. Okay, the first terrible album cover we're gonna look at is N.W.A.'s Niggas for Life. Now this is probably one of the best gangster rap albums, period. And me personally, this is one of my favorite albums of all time. But this album cover is fucking ridiculous. Like, what in the actual fuck is happening right now? When you take a first glance at this album cover, you're gonna be very confused. One of the main things that throws this artwork off is the text on the bottom right hand corner. Like, what the fuck does that shit even say? But if you look closely, you will see that it is a quote written backwards. And when you read it from right to left, it says, Niggas for Life, which is the name of the album. Because of course, you can't actually write the word nigga on the album cover. So their bright idea was just to reverse the text. Now what I really want to know is who is the genius that came up with this artwork? It is so much crazy shit happening in this artwork right now, you can't wrap your head around it. So for those of you who are still confused about what's going on right now, let me help you out. Okay, so you have the members of N.W.A., Eazy e Dr. Dre, DJ Yella, and MC Ren appearing as ghostly figures. But if you look below them, there's dead bodies. Those dead bodies belong to them and they are actually resurrecting themselves from their dead bodies. It seemed like a good idea on paper, but the outcome is just one big clusterfuck. Another thing that's crazy about this album cover is the entity inside of Easy es palm. The entity looks very much like Easy e laying in a casket. And I'ma tell y'all something, I've never noticed this until I put this video together. The next terrible album artwork we're gonna look into is Ghetto Boys, We Can't Be Stopped. This is also another classic hip hop album and one of my personal faves. But again, this album cover is fucking atrocious. The first thing we all notice when looking at this album cover is Bushwick Bill sitting in a hospital bed with his eye blown this shit. Now the average person would just think that the group was going for shock value, but what many of you may not know is that this is an actual real life hospital emergency. An emergency for a failed suicide attempt from rapper Bushwick Bill. So the guy sitting on the hospital bed with his eye shot out really has his eye shot out. The record label executives thought that it would have been a good idea to take this picture for an album cover. I thought that they had changed, they didn't put the picture of you on the album. Nah, they did put the picture on the album, mm -hmm. and I couldn't understand that because I was drugged up at the time the picture was taken. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even remember the picture. It's like right. every, everyone is telling me, Bill, you was hard for taking that picture. That's so real that you, you want to just show the realness of what happened. I was like, that, that was personal. <laughs> Another thing that's bad about this album cover is Willie D's purple shredded jean jacket. Who the hell is this guy's fashion designer? That jacket is fucking hideous. Okay, now we're about to look at a couple of suspect album covers. Take a look at this crazy shit. Here we have a group out of Los Angeles, 187 Fact, whatever the hell that means, floating in a river inside of fucking bathtubs. Now this right here is an album cover I do not understand. What the fuck is the message behind this album cover? The name of the album is called Fact Not Fiction. I mean, is it a fact that these niggas are gay as hell for this album cover? Because I really don't understand the meaning of floating in bathtubs in the fucking river. And what makes it worse is that these dudes are staring at you with the look of lust in their eyes. Now what we have next is a rap group called Some Nuts Out The Projects. And the name of the album is called Nutting All Over Your Face. Like, seriously? Fucking, fucking seriously? I would not buy this album simply off the title. Like bros, the name of your album is called Nothing All Over Your Face. I don't want y'all nothing all over my face, so y'all can keep this album to yourselves. Now the last album artwork we're gonna look into is from one of my favorite rappers, Ghostface Killers, 
bulletproof wallets. Now I've always had questions about this album artwork. Like, can somebody please inform me of what's going on? Because to me, it looks like Ghostface Killer's making Raekwon the Chef breakfast. The fact that he's making breakfast for another man is really no problem. The problem is the attire he chose to wear to make the man breakfast. This dude has a bathrobe on, which is open, revealing his chest, and the look he's giving to the consumer is very gay. And Raekwon the Chef is also giving that same look of lust. This album artwork was just a bad idea from the good go, and it's also not really one of Ghostface Killer's best albums. Alright guys. Guys, that's the end of the video if you guys like this video be sure to hit the like button and let me know in the comment section if you want to see more of these videos all right y'all i'm gonna catch y'all next time gully boy signing out